verify you're on the up and up and she's on some BS? His name is Marcus. What's his last name? I don't know his last name. What's his phone number? Uh, four six seven. Oh, we hope if I have my freaking phone somewhere. Four six seven. Well, like I said, the Stephanie was she's a she's a older mixed lady, so she's not you know she. Who do you know in Waukesha other than her? Um, I know a guy named Terion. Um, I met Terion. Um, I don't know where he lives now. I met I've been knowing him for maybe five six years. I just know he stays in Waukesha. He comes down to Milwaukee a lot, and then he comes back up here. I don't. How old is he? I like. 34, 35, yeah. Where did, maybe. Give me I know, uh, I know a lot of, I know a lot of females. Well, how many times have you been to Terry's house? Um, once in like 2018. Do you remember? It was like a, it was like an apartment. It wasn't a house though. Apartment? Yeah. Do you remember what was near it? Um, I think it was like right on the main street. What's the main street? There's a lot of like, streets. Like is whatever, it, is whatever it street downtown. What, what would be considered downtown? Where all the bars and restaurants yeah. and it, it shops are. This district. Is Stephanie I'll, a place near downtown? So uh, a bunch of bars and a business district right near there? The only thing I can remember is a gas station, like a titty quarter gas station. I think this street is like a one-way. Whatever street is right here is like a one-way. And it's a gas station like right here. Remember O'Connor gas station? A mobile Speedway quick trip hometown. Not not a quick trip. Not a Speedway. Like a, the blue and white one. Blue and white. Any schools or parks nearby our house? Something like that? Anything you remember like that? Trails? I know the... I know that park. I know that park is, is by the old girl's house. By whose house? Stephanie? It, yeah. Park. What? I don't I don't know the name of the park, but it has like a little creek or some it was something going on out there yesterday to where a lot of shit was blocked off. Okay. I don't I don't like I said I don't know about Walker Shaw, I don't know. But it seemed like everybody was at that park kind of walking around that creek. Like a uh, playground type park or like a like a uh, like a park. It's it seemed like a little creek or something. Well I don't know if it, you would say a creek. What would that be, buddy? A river? Would that be a river? <laughs> just walk so I have a river? <sighs> well, I know it's just a small, it's a small body of water. It's like, how would I describe it? But there were barricades blocking some shit off here there? No, it looked like in that area. In that area? In that area, it looked like a bunch of shit was, like, blocked. You okay. couldn't go down certain streets or some shit. I, I don't know, but that park is close to the old girl's house where... That's why I said, look, when our friend was like, you know, your baby mama trying to get in touch with you. And I'm like, what's she, like yeah, what's up? What's she telling you? What's, what's going on? And she was just like, well, she said she got some money for you. And I was like, why would she tell somebody else? That's what I started thinking at first. Like, that's like... Why is you think? Because she, she'll tell me the same thing. Don't tell people our business. So then when she the put us in, when she merged us in, you out here, you out here, you out here. I'm like, man, yeah, but I'm like, what's up? Like, you, you got, yeah, I'm, okay, cool. You going, you going to, no, not staying out here like that. I'm watching the game and I'm gone. So she tell you where to meet or you tell her where she to meet? She told me where to meet. Okay. I told her, I said, it's a gas station right here. And she was like, is it a park right there? I'm like, I don't know. Is it a park right here? They were like, yeah, there's a park right down here, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, just meet me over there. I'll get the money from you, give you a hug, give you a kiss, and, you know, I'll call you later or whatever. It wasn't supposed to be us hanging out, spending time together. It wasn't that. It wasn't supposed to be that. She
she got mad because I didn't want to do that. That's why I kind of figured, but like I said, I didn't see her drink. I'm not going to sit here and say, I saw her drink. I'm not going to lie on her. I didn't. But when she started acting like, yeah, you finna, that's when I kind of was like, she probably been drinking. She probably haven't just, just stopped drinking, but you was drinking sometime today. I know you was drinking sometime today. I didn't tell her that. But I said, yeah, because she's acting too. You know what I mean? Oh, you just finna, you just finna get, oh, you just think you finna get the money and leave. And you just, you must, you must got some bitch waiting on you and blah, 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 blind. I'm like, see, this is why. This is why I just should have just watched the game and left, dude. Like, all right. So, the fuck, man? So you came out. How did you get out here again? My friend. What type of car did you drive? Oh, man. It's like a Kia type of car. I don't know if it's a Kia, but it's a small four-door car like that in that type of model. Okay. What color is it? Black like tan. And was it just the two of you that rolled out together? Did anyone it roll was, out from Milwaukee? With no, it was just us two. Two of us. He said, he, 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 said this probably was gonna be some chicks over here you know like i said the stephanie girl is an older an older woman she you know likes to party drink you know watch the game she cooks sure cool fuck it let's watch the game shit i i was only gonna probably go to my mom's house and watch the game there and my mom has to go to work so i was just gonna be sitting there like this fuck it might as well go you know what i'm saying did he offer it? And, and at the same time, sorry. cool, I can get the money from, you know, that she's been holding for me. Yeah. Did he offer to drive? What? I mean, do you have your own car? Did he offer to no, drive? No, I, I don't. How did you guys come I don't own a vehicle. Don't own so, a vehicle? No. Nope. Do you have any car you can drive at all? No. I have license. So you have a I do have a license, but no, no vehicle. Don't ever use your niece's, nephew's, mom's car, or anything like uh, that? My nephew doesn't have a vehicle. My niece is 14. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what about your mom? No, my mom doesn't even know how to drive. She doesn't have a car, doesn't know how to drive? She doesn't know how to drive. Does she she never car? learned. Okay. Does she have a car that she lets you use at all? No. Does she have a car at all? Maybe that not that she lets you use. No. Does she have a car in her name at all? I think she did at one point. Does she right now? Not that I know of. Okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna say no because I don't know. I honestly don't know. Me and my mom just we was kind of having family issues for a while, so we didn't talk for a while. The issues that didn't have nothing to do with, with this. It was between me and her. So um, we started back talking when I was in Georgia. So whatever whatever she had going on when I was on the West Coast, coming back to Milwaukee, I don't know. But I can tell you this. My mom is 60-some years old. She's never drove. She doesn't know how to drive. She doesn't even have a license. She catches the bus to work, which I don't like her doing because Milwaukee. She has to go. She works at Freighter, so she has to go. The way her bus route goes, she has to go way up to like 92nd and some, some, somewhere she told me they don't even have a, a, a bus depot thing. Mm-hmm. So it's getting cold as shit and it's dark out there and she's just standing out there. And I was just like, damn, I don't want. So I'm like, you probably gonna have to change your route to catch the bus from downtown Milwaukee on Wisconsin Street, downtown Milwaukee, and then go up because I don't like her. Sure. Yeah, I don't like her. So you just argued a little bit, and then you you're saying you walked away yesterday. Yeah, I just told her. I told her I'm like I'm not finna I'm not finna freaking. It was yeah. people out there. They they would they would tell you I did not put my hands on this woman. I did not push this woman. I did not choke this woman. People I did not like, kick this woman. I did not grab this woman. I did not do anything to this woman. People out there, as in like just regular old civilians. Just regular like civilians. Just people regular. that know you. Regular civilians. Did you meet her by yourself? I met her by myself. No one from the house went with you? No one. And there was people walking up and down the street. Like I said, it was people out because it was daytime. So it wasn't like 
We was just yeah. in some secluded area where it was just me and her. Mm -hmm. you, it was it was people out there, and they. But anybody I, that knows you or knows nobody her. that knows me. Mm -hmm. Nobody that knows me. I don't know if it was anybody around that knows her, but I know people were walking up and down the street. People were walking around that park. Sure. It was like basically we were out in public. Like if we was out in public, if something would have happened, people would. Yo, with the hip, like, it, where was we gonna go to not be seen? All right, so I might have missed this. You, you touched on it. You were at the gas station or the park? I know the park's nearby. You met her at the no, gas I'm saying station. The gas the station. No, I met her at the park. The gas the park. station was by the area that we were in. The gas station is by that park. Yeah, I'm just clarifying. Yeah. Okay. Um, which car were you in when you met her at the? I didn't park? meet her in the car. I just oh. I walked right over there. You walked. I walked right over there to the park, and she was standing like right wherever this entrance to this park is. Like I said, it was people everywhere. So yeah. Anybody would see us standing out there. She was standing right there waiting for me. I walked up, gave her a hug, and she. I was like, and she was just like, well. My friend has my purse, so I don't have the money and all this. I'm like, so you had me come way out here? You know, like the power players or something? That's, that's basically was like, yeah, nah, I, yeah. Okay. You know, you, you basically, you see how fast you caught on to that? And I was just like, you had me come way out here? You know, I ain't even supposed to be around you like that. You had me come way out here to meet you? For you to try to play and shit like this? I said, no, nah, man, I'm, fin I'm gone. Yeah. So I'm out. It was daylight when you met up with her. Was it still daylight? Pretty much when you walked away from her? Yeah, it was daylight the whole time. This was broad daylight. That's what I'm saying. Like, people outside, everything going on, people walking around the park. I'm like, anybody could have saw, anybody would have saw us talking. Anybody would have saw if anything happened. Mm -hmm. Anybody would have saw if I did something to her, she did something to me, if I ran from the scene, if I did this. Anybody would have seen it. Do you know how she got out here to meet you out here? Did she, she didn't say? She's apparently been staying out here. Okay. So we, this is what she told our mutual friend. I don't know if that's true. All right. I haven't talked to her and haven't seen her in like yeah. almost a month. That's fine. So I don't. I don't know. You said you said you you don't know where your phone is. Um, we're talking your cell phone, right? Yeah. You're not sure. Did you leave it? Do you do you keep that with you? Is that your phone that you have with you all the time? Because you seem. I don't know where it is. I don't have it. You seem. Yeah, well, you. yeah. Like, if you go somewhere, do you take your phone? Absolutely. My mom just got me that phone. It's my first ever iPhone. Okay. I don't know if she was using it first kind of thing, but she was just like, I got a surprise for you. No, I never had an iPhone. Hopefully, we'll find it for you. And that's the number with the 610, if I had to call you after yeah. today, the 610, whatever. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That's why I was asking him. I said, man, they find when I told them, I said, look, y'all, I'm reaching for my ID. That's why I said how can y'all not find my flip-flops or my phone? Mm -hmm. I had on some Green Bay Packer flip-flops because it was game day. And we did stop at 1 hour 18 minutes and 2 seconds. Sir, with regard to this clip, you, you asked the defendant about his, his phone, correct? Yes, I did. Did you know where his phone was when you asked him if he lost it? Objection. You're saying. Overrule the witness may answer. The phone was found inside the vehicle. So uh, he didn't he didn't have it with him when he was what vehicle? taken into custody. The red Objection. Ford Escape. Um overrule the witness may answer. I'm sorry. The red Ford Escape. And in whose name was that car registered? Don Woods. And what relationship is Don Woods to the defendant? Objection, leading. Overrule. She is his mother. <coughs> did you question, your question about the phones, what significance, if any, did that have to you? Or why did you ask him about the phone? Strike, strike the initial question. Why did you ask Mr. Brooks about the phone? Objection. I don't consent to being caught that night. 
The objections overruled. Go ahead, you may answer. One, to know, um, to verify his contact information, but two, um, one, if we were to find the phone, it would help us know whether it is his. Um, and if we were able to find a phone and we know it's his, um, knowing the phone number, including make and things of that nature, can help um, be used in location services at a later time to further verify that the suspect was, Mr. Brooks, excuse me, was in Waukesha at the time when these incidents occurred. And again, at the time that you asked these questions, did you know that the phone had been located in the car or you did not have that information at this time? Um, sustained us to the form of the question. What information at the time that you asked Mr. Brooks about the phone, did you have about it? Objection to the name. <clears throat> um, overruled, you may answer, sir. Uh, very little. At that point, I don't recall if I knew that the vehicle that the phone was inside of his mother's vehicle. Okay, thank you. Now directing you to um, the mark of one hour, 19 minutes and 20 seconds to one hour, 38 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, let's play that portion of the interview. After you talk to her, Darrell, um, where did you go? Do you have a, they found you, it was cold yesterday. You didn't have a jacket, did you have a jacket with you? I did, you I didn't there? initially have a jacket because like I said, I was I was riding with somebody else. So I figured- So you didn't if, bring one in anticipation of the cold? I, I didn't because I figured I'm going from the house right to wherever we're going, so I didn't, it wasn't to me it wasn't like i'm gonna hang out with, with y'all all night type of type of deal we was just supposed to be watching the game having a few cold ones and then i was getting dropped back off home so what happened Darrell, where you ended up so i know you say you're not familiar with the area so at I'll, all i'll lay this out for you at so all. follow me for a minute um you say you're kind of near this park i got an idea in my head of where you're talking based on my knowledge of the city um, it's right near Stephanie's where you're hanging around watching the game and Marcus is there. Um, you came out here with your phone because you take it with you. How did you end up at this guy's house? Now you said when you, you, you walked away from Erica, did she go the other way? I don't. You walked away. From what I remember, she just stood there. Okay, she, so you, she was just standing there like, Right, well, so whatever. you walked away and it was over. It was over. It was over. How did you end up? at a guy's house asking to use his phone, which is blocks away from Stephanie's, okay? I can tell you that based on my knowledge of the city, based on approximately where you're telling me it is, without your phone and your shoes. You understand where that's kind of weird? How did you get to be over there? What happened? Yeah, but what basically happened with that was when I got back over here by old girl house, I just said, cause I don't really know Stephanie like that. It's my friend's friend or partner or whatever whatever the case may be they was getting into it about pretty much the same thing that i was getting into it with erica about i was just like hey. him him who's him marcus okay. him her and whoever else stephanie was there anyone else there other than yeah at her house yeah okay. a few girls that i didn't know but they had already said it was gonna be people over here okay so, all right, so I was pissed because I I feel like I just met up with her with my baby's mom. I just met up with her for absolutely nothing. You so you you tell me okay, 
you out here in Waukesha. I'm out here, let's meet up, I got your money, and then I walk over there, and you don't have the money. Or you do or you don't, you just ain't gonna give it to me, however the case may be, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. Well, hold on. So I, when I, I get back, I got your piss, but when I get back over there, I'm pissed. Okay. They was getting into it, and he like, man, come on, bro, we just finna go, we just finna go. And I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like, I just got into it with it. Now y'all into it, he like, man, this bitch tripping. Whatever, let's go. I'm like, nah, nah, I, I, uh, nah. I'm like, I'm out, dog. And I just started. Marcus walking. wanted to leave. He wanted to leave, but I ain't. I don't know what the fuck he was on. Doobie, do doobie. He probably didn't even get into it with old girl, but he out there like, man, let's just go, bro. Let's just go, bro. How long have you known Marcus? I know Marcus for years. Years. Okay. I'm going to be straight with you because you've been asking me for that all along. That doesn't make sense. Listen to me, okay? Just listen to me. You go to this house. You leave. It was... That wind was cold as hell. Not at first. Well, by... By the time it was getting later in the day, I mean, after the Packer game, you're talking 3, 30, 4 o'clock, it, it was getting cold. I was outside for a while. Yeah, we bought like So, there, yeah. by the time you're talking, it was getting cold. All right. Marcus is ready to leave because this bitch is being crazy. He's like, I'm out. You just went through the same experience from what you're telling us. You live in Milwaukee. I don't know what exactly happened with him, though. I mean, I told him about me. Wait out. I know you don't know exactly what happened. But who are you going to trust more? Marcus, who you've known for years, or Stephanie? Why would you walk away, walk all the way down to where you did, leave your phone in the apartment, apparently, no, I did, along I didn't with leave. your sandals, I didn't leave. I didn't leave. and go down to where you were and not take the ride back to Milwaukee? You follow what I'm saying? Right. Can you understand? I don't, know if, to, I don't know if he left and went back to Milwaukee, way. though. I don't know if he did that. But how are you going to get back if you don't get in the car? I called an Uber. That's what I did. So what happened? How did you get all the way to where you went? Because there's all these businesses in between where you were and where you got to. How did you end up at a random house without your shoes and your phone, girl? This is what I'm saying. I had my flip-flops on. I had them. Okay. <laughs> I just said that. Where did they go? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if... When they slam me down, they just never, I don't know. I'm knocked on two doors, not not just the one. So you had your flip-flops on. I had my Green Bay Packer flip-flops on, yes. Green Bay Packer. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I, did, I wasn't just walking around with no shoes. That didn't happen until after the fact. That's what I'm trying to say, like. So I guess another question I would have for you is if you had your phone too, correct? Yeah. Okay, you didn't leave it at the apartment. No. That's why I was telling you it should have been on the grass. Remember, right. I, I described the phone to you. I said it's black. It has a crash screen. Yep. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Why are you asking other people to use their phones? Why is that guy like My you? phone was dead. Okay. When did it die? I have no idea. Okay. And I didn't have a charger. But you used it for the three-way call. And I used his phone for the three-way call. Okay. Like I said, we got a mutual friend named Michelle. Me, me and Erica do. I've known Michelle just as long as I've known Erica. She was the one that was telling me what's going on with you and your baby mama. Y'all not talking because she's trying to get in touch with you. I said, yeah, I know. I know she probably trying to get in touch with me. Well, I'm going to merge y'all. That's how I end up talking to her. And telling her, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll walk over and meet you to get the money or whatever. You mm -hmm. do hug, you kiss, whatever. I had my flip-flops on then. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't just, because the, the way it's, he was making it seem like I was just running around with no shoes to begin with. Right. It's like, no. I mean, it was pretty cold. You didn't have a jacket or a sweater. Well, I didn't have a jacket to begin with. Okay. I didn't have a jacket to begin with, but I'm saying my shoes, I, I had flip-flops. But you had a jacket before? I now. never had a jacket. Okay. I had flip flops. Right. Green Bay Packer flip flops. Flip -flops. Jacket. Right. right, because I didn't feel like I was gonna be like where 
I'm not going to be outside. Well, mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm not going to be outside. If I'm just going from a car to a house, there's no reason for me to have a coat on or at least that's how I'm thinking. I always do that. That's just like if I had a car and I know I'm finna go somewhere and I'm like, I'm just going from here to here. Well, it's no reason for me to just get all bundled up and do all this and that. It's when no you, reason for there me. still a bunch of people out when you left, when you left her house? It was, it was still, it was still daytime. Okay, it you was said still there were a bunch time. of people when you were talking to Erica, there was still a bunch of people when you left Stephanie's? When I was, no, 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 I wasn't talking. When you left Stephanie's? It, it was still daytime. daytime. It was still daytime? Yes. Okay. Were there still a lot of people out? It was still, it was still people out. Okay. It was still people out. Um, not a lot in that area. By the park, it was a lot of people out. Okay. Like I said, it looked like something was, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> but it was a lot of people out. And it was, like I said, it was people, it was older couples walking down the street. It was younger people walking down the street. People were like an event or something was going on? I, I don't know, but it kind of seemed like it was a lot, like it was something going on to where it was vibrant. Because there was a lot of people everywhere. Walking everywhere. up and down the street. Everywhere. It's people, 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 people. That's why I'm saying, like, if I got into a fight with her right there, it would be Some impossible for somebody to not be like, hey, this guy's fighting this chick or whatever the case may be. Like, it, how could somebody not see something? How long was it be between leaving Stephanie's and those cops yelling at you at the door of that guy's house? Was it dark when they yelled at you? Yeah, by the time they came, it was dark. Okay. But we had been sitting out there. We had been sitting out there for a minute, me, me and the guy. We were sitting right there on the porch. We were just sitting there. To find how long? Uh, estimate. Uh, maybe all, maybe 20, 30 minutes, maybe. It wasn't long, long, but it was, it was long enough for like, cause like I said, he let me use his phone. We sat on the porch. We were sitting right there, just like this, just sitting on the porch. While I called, called me an Uber. I called the Uber. I said, look, man, I, I let him know. I said, look, I ain't trying to rob you or nothing like that. Cause when I knocked on the door, he kind of was like, whoa. I'm like, look, I don't got no weapons. I'm not trying to break in your house. I'm not trying to rob you. Nothing like that, dog. I just need to call an Uber. That's it. You, I'm not, you know, he was just like, okay. I come out. Boom. I, yo, I need an Uber to, yo, what's your address? He told me the address. And we was just sitting there waiting. That's how I was going to get back home. I told him, I said, I got, I got the money on my car. I'm not asking you for no money. I just need to use your phone. That's it. That was it. That was all. And then from there, we sat on the porch and just shot the shit out. I'm saying you told me last night he was cool with that. Like he wasn't, yeah, it wasn't being weird. He wasn't. He was just like, oh yeah, I'll help you out. Yeah, we just sat there on the porch. All right. And he asked me. He did ask me. He said, do you need a jacket? I said, no, I'm straight. Like I, I'll be home as soon as the Uber come. I know it's probably gonna cost me <laughs> probably like forty dollars to get from me. I'm guessing. I don't. I don't know, but mm -hmm. probably. But I had enough on my car to where I knew. I can get home. And that's that was the main thing. I'm like, I'm just going home. She can keep the money or whatever. I didn't even try to contact her further. I just was like, I'm I'm gone. I'm calling yeah. Uber and I'm going home. That's it. Let me ask you this, Darrell. So you weren't out you weren't out in Waukesha Saturday, just Sunday. Yes, right. Okay. Nothing physical yesterday. Um, like I told you you're a part in the investigation. There's a lot of parts, right? To any investigation, there's investigation people we talk about. Well, this domestic abuse thing I'm telling you about, right? Okay. okay. So wait. Hold on. Let me, oh, okay. let me go. I'm sorry. You I just had a about, question. But you talked about being a, you know, a religious man, right? I can do better. God. I can definitely do could. better. We all could. I'm not. We all could. No, that's, that's why. Different. That's why. Yeah, yesterday was a mistake. I should have just freaking watch the game and just yeah. fucking went home. Right. Because uh, that's the thing. What is what do they teach us in Christianity? Throughout that they teach us that we're broken, right? Mm -hmm. We're sinners. Even when we're born, we're born sinners. We're broken. That's why Psalm fifty one so thankful for God's grace and forgiveness. 
right? When we ask for it, um, even though we don't deserve it. But when we ask for it, he gives it. All right, you're a father. You have three children, 18, is it 18, 14, and seven? Yes, sir. All right, you got a mama that raised you well, and a God you, you believe in. Absolutely. All right, and all of them are, here's the thing the law want, is to tell, that you're telling the absolute whole truth and nothing but the truth, right? Absolutely. So help you God, right? Absolutely. Sound familiar? We've all heard that, right? Um, and I just have concerns if I fact check that Darrell's not telling me the truth. You don't have a car, so Marcus had to bring you out. You don't own a car, your mom doesn't own a car, right? So Marcus had to bring you out. So why did we find you with a car key in your pocket? It wasn't in my pocket. I don't even know where they said that was laying on the ground. That's yours. Yeah. It's it's it should have been by my ID. Yeah, it's yours. It's your car key, okay? Because it goes to a Ford Escape in your mom's name covered in Wonka shot. Okay. Listen to Ralph. I'm trying to be as open and honest with you as I can be. You know, I'm Christian too, and believe me, I'm not perfect. And neither are you. And I'm not calling you a terrible man. I'm not saying you were out yesterday hunting, and just let me finish. But you did not walk to that house. You did not walk to that house. You did not come here in a tan Kia. You didn't. Yeah. Who? You did not come out here in a tan Kia. Okay. You've got a key in your pocket to a car in your mom's name. Okay? And that key works for that car. For the love of God, Marcus. For yourself, for your family. You know what happened yesterday for the people. Tell me what happened. Well, what? With the car. What am I being with your mom's for? car? You're driving goofy. People called in. You drove out of there in your mom's car, the red car. You're driving a little silly, probably because you're pissed. You met up with Erica in the car at the park. Well, initially, I believe you told us the gas station. Do I have that right? And then you changed it to the park. So that's an analysis. No, no, I said the house was by the gas station. You, when you said you said what was by you said you went Walmart. and it was by a gas station. That's where you met her. No, 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 no. I said I met her at the park. Okay. At a creek. Met her, you say that. You met her at the park in your mom's car. A red Ford Escape. She got in, you talked, and what you're telling me seems pretty consistent that there was nothing physical between the two of you. No, I did no. But you met her in the car. I didn't put my hands on her. Nothing but like you that. met her in the car. Can, what's going on, man? Asking you a question. Just be. You were out there driving kind of crazy. crazy. On, Some man. people said you were driving kind of crazy. We got reports of it. You got the key. You got the car. Did you take the car? Or did your mom give you the car? I know you know what car I'm talking about. I just want to know. <laughs> so. Some people now reported this, you all those okay, people no, 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 reported that no. car driving a bit erratic. I, I know what you're saying. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. We all been straight up with each other. You knew it was more to what you was asking me yesterday. Didn't know that would sure. explain that would explain the FBI and all that, right? They're not here today. So if it's that big a deal, you don't see them here today. Come on, car. We been. We been. You guys met in the car, in the park. We've been cool, yeah, man, awesome. the whole time. If I did something, yeah. if I did something yeah, wrong, that's serious, why they were here. But do you see them here today? They're not here today. Yeah, but but y'all lied to me, man. You made it seem like they just come for no reason. Well, here's the thing, Darrell. And I'm like, what hey, if I if it's listen today to for a minute? I can, I give, you a, I can give you a clean slate. I apologize. Here. I apologize because you have lied to us as well because you came out here in the Red Ford Escape. Okay, that is what she came out here in. You had the key. Alright? So, what I want to do is try to give us all a chance to reset. You understand what I'm saying? Start over. Because you're not giving us an accurate story. 
you didn't ride out with Marcus in a tan car. You said your mom doesn't have a car. I've just told you we've disproven that. All right? I don't know what kind of woman she is. I don't know what you all have been through. But you were seen in the car driving kind of, driving kind of acting a fool, okay? In basically the same area that you've already been able to describe to me. I'm just trying to figure out how and why it happened. What made you tear out of there? What made you so mad where you're like, fuck it, and you raced on out of there? And then people call, man, this guy's he's driving around here kind of fast. All I want to know, like I said, y'all being cool with me. Am I charged with anything? That's all I want to know. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Right now. I, I'm, listen, I was. You were driving a bit so, reckless. Listen, might be I was so, no, listen, listen. No, I don't drink. That, 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 you said that you had a couple cold ones during the game. No, nah, yeah, I, yeah. But I'm saying the hard alcohol okay. is not my thing. I was not drunk when you get the blue. And the video stopped at 1 hour 38 minutes 30 seconds. <coughs> Tata, can you explain what was occurring here during this clip? <coughs> Um, <clears throat> so in this clip here, um, my goal and intentions were with Mr. Brooks to start um, getting into the details um, of him driving the Red Ford Escape through the parade route um, and to begin confronting him with information um, about the Ford Escape key that had uh, been found in his pocket. Obviously, to this point, um, Mr. Brooks had told us his mother didn't have a vehicle that she let him use. He didn't know if she had one at all. Um, the vehicle was in his name. Um, was it in his name? I'm sorry, in his mother's name, Mrs. Mrs. Woods, Don Woods. Um, he'd stated he didn't have a vehicle at all. Objection, lady. Um. The previous objection, it's noted, um, <coughs> it's overruled. The witness may continue. Um, he had made statements earlier in the interview he didn't have a vehicle at all that he had ridden out um, in the Kia, which is not true. Um, the investigation showed Mr. Brooks came out here in the Red Ford Escape by himself, so he was, in fact, in possession of a vehicle. He was, in fact, um, driving a vehicle. Um, in regards to the area, you know, it should be known that Mr. Brooks's description of the park, Frame Park is the park where parade attend, or I'm sorry, I should say people in the parade, whoever they might have been, lined up. Um, they were lining up at Frame Park. Frame Park is a park that has a body of water, as Mr. Brooks described, uh, more specifically the Fox River running through it. So he was able to describe that park. Um, there were people everywhere walking up and down the street, just as he said. Uh, streets were closed off via barricades, via, uh, via marked squad cars, uh, via police tape. Uh, so he was able to describe that, and the way he described the area was exactly almost how the area looked um, with the parade. It was extremely crowded um, due to the people marching in the parade. Um, it was, in fact, shown to be daylight when Mr. Brooks met with Ms. Patterson and then departed from Ms. Patterson. That is something we learned and I was able to confirm that based on how he described it. Um, and, you know, furthermore, you know, he describes and he, he, he gives the impression, Mr. Brooks does, that, well, if I was in a domestic, someone would have seen it. Someone would have seen it because there were all the people all there and there were, but it's not necessarily going to be seen as easily as Mr. Brooks was trying to lead me to believe because it took place inside of the vehicle. Uh, Mr. Brooks did not walk to the park to meet Ms. Patterson. That was proven uh, as evidence in this investigation. Um, he drove there and met up with her in Dawnwood's Red Ford Escape, 
which is the same vehicle after departing the park, drove along Main Street in Waukesha through the parade route. The key found in the defendant's pocket. Did that operate the red Ford Escape that was eventually located that was registered to John Woods? Objection. That's been answered numerous times. Um, overruled the witness may answer. And there's never any depiction of a key being found <coughs> in the defendant's pocket. The objection is noted. It's overruled the witness may answer. Um, yes, it did. And... Um, you know, as we discussed the key more, you can even hear in there that Mr. Brooks acknowledges it should have been near his ID. And was his ID also found in his pocket, do you know? Objection yes, it was. Um, please wait till I rule on the objection. Sustain this to the form of the question. I'll strike the last answer. Please rephrase. Where was that his ID found? <laughs> in his pocket. And the information you had, where was the key found? Objection leading. <clears throat> Overruled. Objections hearsay. Um, Overruled. What was the answer? The key was found in his pocket. Yeah, how do you know that? Now, you also talked to Mr. Brooks about his phone. Where did he say his phone was? According to Mr. Brooks, at this point, the phone should have been near him, I believe he said, in the grass. And what did you take that to mean? It should have been near him in the grass. Objection. That was never stated. Um, overruled the witness may answer. I would interpret it as right next to him, where he was arrested. Okay, that's what I was just, where he was arrested? Objection yes. leading. Um, overruled the answer may be given. <laughs> yes. After the defendant met with Erica Patterson, what did he describe his emotion as being? Angry, frustrated over the fact that Ms. Patterson brought him to the park and did not have the money to provide him that she indicated him to him prior to that she would have. Where did he say his flip-flops were? Objection. Answer. Um, overruled the witness may answer. Well, when he indicated that he departed um, Stephanie's house, they were on his feet. However, during the course of his arrest, um, he indicates he doesn't know where they went. So somehow, apparently, they, I, I guess, according to Mr. Brooks, disappeared. Now, the clothes that the defendant's wearing in this video, the, specifically the red shirt, was that a shirt that was provided to him uh, by law enforcement? Objection, hearsay. Overruled. The witness may answer. Uh, no, ma'am. That's the same shirt he was wearing at the time of his arrest. Did he indicate to you during this interview whether or not he had a coat? Objection. On the video. Um, overruled the witness may answer. Uh, Mr. Brooks indicated that he did not. And how long did he say he was on the porch with the homeowner whose house he was arrested at? Objection. Relevancy. Overruled the witness may answer. I believe it was like 20 to 30 minutes. The weather that evening um, was that an appropriate shirt to be wearing for 20 to 30 minutes? Outside. Objection. Relevancy. Overruled. The witness may answer. <coughs> no, it was not. So now I'll direct your attention to the video. I'd like to play one hour, 40 <coughs> minutes. Zero seconds <coughs> to one hour, 41 minutes and 30 seconds. If we may play that now. Go ahead. Not touch her. Right, so what had you so mad? Because you had your mom's car. Or I don't know if you use it. 
who uses it? You got the key in the car. Is it hers? Is it yours? If she lets you use, let's clean that part up. Whose car is it? It's my mom's car. Okay. How often do you drive it? Uh, not very much. It's the red Ford Escape? That's all I want to know. Please. Just please. Whenever you can't tell me, I understand. I understand. All I want to know, just just so I can have a peace of mind, just for just for my girls, man. What am I looking at? Well, the fact you were kind of racing around up and down the street. That's the first part. Right? So, we're not quite there yet. I'm trying to figure out if I've got all my facts right first. So, this wasn't a three-way call. Let's back up to there for a second. How did you come to meet her in the... How did you come to meet her in the park? So y'all not can't y'all can't tell me nothing. Well, you were driving. You, you. And the video stopped at one hour forty one minutes and thirty seconds. Sir, is this the first time in this interview that Mr. Brooks acknowledged knowing about the Ford Red Ford Escape? Objection, leading, and that was not. Steady. Oh, the objection's noted. It's overruled. The witness may answer. No, I don't consent to being called that name for the record. Overruled. Yes, that is the first time. No. Again, <clears throat> Mr. Brooks is asking about the charges. Did you recall seeing that on this clip as well as the clip contained within one hour, 19 minutes, and 20 seconds, and one hour, 38 minutes, and 30 seconds? Objection, leading, and compound questions. Um, overall, the witness may answer. <laughs> yes, I recall that. And again, what was the significance of that question in terms of timing of both clips? Objection, leading. Overall, the witness may answer. Well, you know, to that point, I had been talking about the domestic abuse incident with Mr. Brooks, <coughs> and um, I started talking to him about driving and just driving kind of fast. Um, I had not noted to Mr. Brooks yet at that point that he had struck with, struck anybody. Um, it seemed to me, based on Mr. Brooks's behavior, reasonable to believe that Mr. Brooks, it was clear to me he could remember something else happening. And I could sense what Mr. Brooks was attempting to do at that point was draw out of me more information. And again, as I stated in my earlier testimony, to gauge his truthfulness, I wanted to hear what he had to tell me about the incident before giving him too much specific detail. Uh, at this point, Mr. Brooks, for example, Miss Woods' vehicle, he indicated she did not own one. He had lied to me. Um, there is the risk if I start giving him too much specific information, he's going to create a lie about what I gave him and, <coughs> and so on. So he kept, Mr. Brooks kept insisting to know the charges before talking to me, but for the integrity of the investigation, that was something I couldn't, I couldn't and wouldn't provide him. Direct your attention to one hour, 44 minutes, 30 seconds, and playing until one hour, 45 minutes, and 35 seconds. Um, it is at one hour, 44 minutes, 30 seconds now. I'd ask that it be played. Go ahead. I want to tell you that you know, you're charged with X, Y, Z. If you didn't do X, Y, Z, we got a question. We got a, it's all fact yet. I just feel like y'all know more than what y'all say, though, and that's what that's what has me like, like, why should I cooperate when there's no cooperation with me? Nothing, nothing I'm saying is gonna help me. I mean, like, it doesn't make sense to the. We're trying to gather the facts. Yep, me, so that, he did. Right. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. You know, okay, what you guys are doing. I'm just saying, I don't want to get railroaded by people not being honest. That's all I'm saying. And if I don't know what I'm looking at, it's like, what the hell? Like, why should why should I just sit here and be like, oh, this is everything and blah, 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 blah. And then, and then people come back and be like, okay, well, okay, now we, yeah, so now we're gonna charge you with this and this and this and this and this when y'all knew this from the, the door. Okay, 
Well, we don't know that we're going to charge you. We're, we're, that's, again, the fact that we're asking the questions about, you know what I mean? That's yeah. why we're What's going on here, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. For the record, it stopped at 1 hour, 45 minutes, and 36 seconds. Thank you. Go ahead, you so at this point, um, Mr. Brooks is still continuing to try to determine what exactly you know he's being charged with, and you know another part of this investigation is it, w it was so broad. I didn't know exactly what some of those charges even were going to be. I, I had an idea, but I didn't know exactly. Um, and in reality, what we wanted to know at that point is where he drove. Have him tell us where he drove and why he did it. Um, but Mr. Brooks just was not willing to indicate that to us and explain that to us without us telling him what specific charges he was looking at. And this is a theme that continued over the next several hours. Direct your attention to 1 hour 49 minutes and 36 seconds, playing until 1 hour 54 minutes and 30 seconds. And it is starting at 1 hour, 49 minutes, and 36 seconds. Go ahead. So your issue right now with us is you feel like you're, we're not sharing. I'm getting railroaded. Okay. I know I am. No, Y'all okay. not telling me what's really going on. But we're not, we're not getting the full truth either. I know. But I, and what I was saying was, I got an issue. So when you left, you guys met in the car. You didn't walk there. She if got I, in the if car. If I tell you everything that happened. Are y'all gonna be straight up with me about what I'm facing? That's all I want to know. Well, I don't want to know anything else. I don't need you guys to tell me, hey man, this is this, that is that, this is this. I just want to know. Just, just, so just, I don't for, know just, for, just right for the now. fact, just for the fact that, like I said, my my girls. Yeah, no, I got you. I don't know the entirety right now. So while I'm here, um, a couple of officers talked to Erica. Um, I'm not the only one working on it, so I don't know everything. I got a report to a boss, so I don't know exactly everything that's going to be yet. And that part's not a lie. I don't know exactly everything that's going to be yet. I'm just trying to figure out to get to that point where I can have a clear idea and call who I need to call to get some of the information to find that all out. I'm trying to get a clear idea of what really happened regarding you and her. And when you drove away, where you were going, or did you not know? You know what I'm saying? Because right now I don't know everything. Wow. Because I'm out here and, and they're out there. Oh, walk show. Right, and I'm like, how long do I gotta sit in these? Where, where are we at? Skigo. How long do I gotta sit in these jails before I can call somebody? Get a phone call. Let my, you know, let my daughters know. Hey, man, I don't know what's going on, but it, it's good to hear your voice. Are y'all okay? Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying we're to get to point. that point, Darrell. But the, the question I asked you when you left, where were you? Go did you know or did you not know? Were you just mad and you left? Where were you going when you initially drove off? That's an easy. If you didn't know where the hell you were going, you didn't have an idea. You didn't have a particular destination in mind, you know, so be it. Maybe we've been talking a couple hours. You want to sit and eat a minute? I wish they had some Tylenol. I've been trying to fight this pain, man, since. They might, I don't know. They show, I, I, I don't actually, know how, did you ask them? Yes. So they don't? They just said they'll see. Okay. We'll see. It hurt worse now than it did yesterday, or last night, rather. Yeah, it's going to be sore. It's definitely sore. There's no it? doubt about that. Oh, my God. We'll take a break and see if we uh, can round up some time on what I mean. Yeah, we can see if we can. How about we see if we want me to see if I can find some? Yeah, I just wanted to. Let me see if I can find some. It's so many things going through my mind right now, the pain, the... You I'm not know. even... I didn't even know... She called the, the word. She didn't call the cops or yeah, someone else. Did. I know you said you, you lost your phone. 
or you didn't yeah. know where, where it went dead and now you don't know where it is. If we find it so we know it's yours, can get it back to you? I know you said it's cracked, but... No, well, the, the screen is cracked, but it has a... Uh, I don't think the, it went all the way to the what's glass. The post, so we know it's yours and if we can try um, to return it. It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't have a number code. It has. You have to. Do you draw it? Do it with, with that. Do you draw it? It's dead. It's not even gonna turn on. Well, <laughs> yeah, but we don't want to give it to somebody else. It. We don't want to give it to somebody else. Are you? It's like. It's a seven. It's typically it's the phone the phone is dead, so but like I said, we can charge it. I don't want somebody else to say, Oh, that's my phone. And you want to your property to somebody else. Wait a minute, right. so that sounds like y'all got my phone. If we find it. I didn't say we had it, I said if we find it. This is seven. Alright, so in that direction? Okay. All right. So this way down. Okay. No, I don't know if they have it now. If, but if we find it, you don't have it, so it I would think be in somewhere in the area of that house. And the video stopped at one hour fifty four minutes thirty seconds. Can you, ex can you explain to the jury what just happened in this clip? <coughs> Overrule. The witness may answer. So in this clip. Um, there's a couple things. Um, first, obviously, the conversation with Mr. Brooks at this point has gotten um, into the parade issue, the driving issue, which is a little bit more serious. Um, I noted that for the first time in a long time. Um, he began bringing up pain in his shoulder again, um, something he hadn't been doing for quite some time up to that point. Um, it seemed and felt deceptive, as if it was perhaps a stalling tactic. The other issue became, in the context, was the phone. So um, the phone that we ultimately recovered from Mr. Brooks, um, one was an Apple iPhone. That is the code I was specifically requesting from Mr. Brooks at this point. Um, we have forensic analysts who download electronic devices. Those could be DVR systems, computers, but most oftentimes in our technology today, they're, they're cell phones. Um, and when I provided that code to Detective David Fine, who does that type of work, um, he indicated that could not be the code as the Apple iPhones um, did not have swipe codes. They should have had numeric or facial recognition. Thank you. Directing you now to two hours, two minutes, 30 seconds, and playing until two hours, five minutes, and 45 seconds. And it is starting at 2.02.30. For me to look forward to, but it's like, <laughs> this morning, man, And I love her to death, man. I want her to be my wife, man, but I just wish somebody could tell her that. Like, <laughs> I wish somebody could really tell her, like, man, this dude loves you, man. Why are you doing this to this guy, man? He literally wants to marry you 16 years, man, off and on. I'm not going to go mess with nobody else, man. That That's the person that I want to be with. But I'm not going to continue to be the scapegoat because you want to drink. And, and when you know I don't, be, you're making it seem like I just beat up on you. Like I'm just like you're a punching bag or something. I don't wake up and be like, oh, bitch, I'm going to hit you. Or I'm gonna hit. Like what? Mm -hmm. It's like almost like I'm demonized here. Like. <laughs> I'm not saying you're a demon. No, not you. Not 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 your yeah, opinion, man. But it's just it. I feel that way because you're trying to trying to just. Ah, I, I know you heard that. Oh my god. Uh All oh, that fucking hurt. Sure. I know you heard that. I heard it. Didn't check. <laughs> 
We're gonna go check with them. Maybe they'll listen to us a little bit better. Fuck. Yeah. Want to check? Yet? Oh my god. Yeah, give us a minute. Ah. Uh, see what we got. Dude, they, it gotta, how, how, it gotta be something wrong, man. How in the hell does it? Sometimes sprains will pop too. Yeah, yeah but why is it hurting like this and they say there's nothing? Dude. The sprains can actually be more painful than a break. Yeah. So whatever they got, whatever they did, bad. it hurt so bad. Mm-hmm. You want to keep the food? Why don't you keep the food in the soda and move back in the kitchen? Ah. Ah. We got that title off. We'll be right with you. Oh, man. And the clip ended at 205.45. Can you describe for the jury what you saw here? <coughs> yes, ma'am. So, um, what I noted is that um, Mr. Brooks initially, as we're in the room, continues to suggest that he's in severe pain. Um, and once we're out of the room, there's no more groaning. There's no more grabbing of his shoulder. Rather, there's an interest in looking at the paperwork that's left behind and attempting to use the phone. As soon as that door opens, um, Mr. Brooks then suddenly places his face into his hands and is suddenly in despair again. Okay, moving to two hours, 49 minutes, zero seconds, and playing till two hours, 50 minutes, 40 seconds. And we are at now two hours, 49 minutes, zero seconds. So this is one thing between me What if it wasn't me driving? What if it wasn't you? What if it was my mom's trip? Mm -hmm. But I wasn't driving. Mm -hmm. What if it was you? What if it wasn't me? Mm -hmm. Who else would it be? That's what I'm. That's what I'm asking. Not not asking you who else would it be, but I'm just asking what if I knew. Mm-hmm. Would I be asked to give that information? Well, like I said, we're here to gather truth. So if somebody else was driving that car, yeah, I would want to know who that car is so we can go talk to that person. But a huge part of that is going to be your honesty with it. Right, right, right. No, I was just asking. Because you just ask, you know, you know, you, you've already figured out you're not, a, you're not an idiot. You're not a dumb man. You're a smart guy. Right. I, I see that. You know that we've been working on this. The video stopped at 2 hours, 50 minutes, 40 seconds. What's going on here? Um, overall, the witness <coughs> may answer. So at this point, Mr. Brooks, I've stepped out of the room, is offering up to Detective Stern that there's a possibility that someone else may have been driving the vehicle. Now, when asked about that, um, as we can see, he 
he pretends he doesn't know who that person would be. Um, it's untruthfulness. It's deception. Um, Hold on a second. I'm going to refrain. I'm going to advise the witness to refrain from characterizing what Mr. Brooks is saying or not saying. It is solely up to this jury to determine credibility <coughs> of uh, any of the witnesses and the believability of even any statements made during these interviews. And I'm going to strike uh, that characterization from the record. Please ask another question. Sir, this interview goes on for another two plus hours, is that correct? Yes. Um, overruled, it's foundational. At this point, it's the witness may answer. Yes. Does, okay, sorry. Does Mr. Brooks at any time ever tell you that <coughs> someone else is driving his mom's red SUV? Objection, I don't consent to being called that name. Overruled, the witness, the witness may answer. Leading the witness. Overruled, the witness may answer. No other individual or no other name is ever provided. Thank you. And I'll direct you to two hours, 57 minutes, 30 seconds, playing till three hours, five minutes, 41 seconds. It is now at two hours, 57 minutes, 30 seconds, and as the video commence. <laughs> So you, you brought that up where you don't want to see anybody where their nose. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, okay. You don't want to um, see anybody get hurt. Or sorry, you don't want to see yeah, anybody he, get charged for something they didn't do. But you already brought up too that if somebody did something that they should be held accountable for it. And that you're willing to accept responsibility. What's going on with if that? it's can I show you something? You look like you got to film me or something. No, no, I'm not filming. Hey, you? That's you? Nah, I ain't got no. Um, it look like whoever. It look like Gray. Right there. I can see your face. Nah, that's not me. That's not you. That's not me. That's not you. No, I don't. I, I Durrell. That's a Durrell. Gray. <laughs> that's you. That's you, Durrell. Why you say it like that, man? Because we talked about the honesty piece. You keep telling me that you you tell you tell the truth when you did do something. You it's take responsibility when you do do something. There's your mom's car again. There's your mama car. Mom's car again. Child, which I know you care a lot about, children. Next to a child, from someone yeah. later. Uh -huh. It's your mom's car. Yeah, I was just asking him about my. Uh, about That's your mom's car that. that we took the key for from you. So, you can't tell me at this point I'm playing any games anymore. No. I didn't. I didn't uh, say you was playing games from the get go. Well, you felt just like last, being totally no, last night. I felt like it wasn't. You know, as, it wasn't as fluid as you wanted. No, it wasn't the flu. It was just and it wasn't I as knew, much as I wanted. Either. I knew that y'all knew more than what y'all was saying, and I felt like last night with that whole you know them coming in the way they did, and because I'm sitting there in the thing and I'm watching them walk past, like what in the hell? And seeing that. I just felt like, okay, y'all already know wh what y'all want to do, which y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just won't. I didn't know what y'all want. It just seemed like y'all knew more than what y'all was going to tell me. It was more so like a, I feel like I was being railroaded to be like, okay, tell me this, but we already know over here what we're going to do. We already know what we're going to do right here we just want you to tell them yourself and say you did this and did that so we can already justify what we already want to do it it's like i don't feel like that's fair what time did you come out here with the car what time did you head out from milwaukee to walk i don't want to talk man i don't want to talk if, if i'm not getting no i'm not getting nothing i just showed you three pictures okay man. you showed me pictures but you're not telling me what i'm facing you know what you're facing i don't that's the hope you that's why i keep asking you, you drove down a parade route 
you got a pretty good idea what you're facing. You see what I'm saying? So now this is more stuff coming out, man. Yep. We, were, we told you we were looking for that explanation. And that's you. Uh, and all I'm saying is, I'm look, real. all somebody got to do is just tell me what I'm facing. I'll tell you guys whatever you want to know. Okay, I is. said that three, four there times. It there it is. And it's like, yo. So, Darrell, what were you thinking when you went driving, driving through this parade? What am I facing? That's all I want to know. I don't have no yeah. problem talking with you, you guys. Got people, you got people injured that had to go to the hospital. So they're saying I I injured somebody, or you're saying I you injured did. somebody. Yeah. So I'm looking at what, reckless endangerment? The very least, yeah. The very least. People got hurt, that's reckless endangerment. I don't know exactly what they're gonna classify it. Yeah, people had legs broken. Endangerment's where you may have hurt somebody by your actions. You did hurt somebody by your actions. So what am I being charged with? That's what I'm trying to say. I don't say. know exactly yet. We're still working that out. That's I don't know all about. of the details. You're not going to get that out of me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm explaining to you. You're driving down there. You're, you're looking at people got hurt. People got some broken legs. And y'all saying that's me. I know that's you. That's How you know that's you? Because I can recognize you. I can tell it's you. Yeah. And that's your mom's car, which you had the key for. I can ID you, Darrell. I'm just asking you to be honest about it. Be honest about what I'm facing. What do you I think you're facing? I don't. I don't what do you think you're facing? What do you think, hypothetically? I mean, you've been through this gamut before. Right. And y'all knew I was getting charged with this from day one, so why y'all couldn't just charge me and take me to the county jail where y'all was going to take me, man? Because we because wanted that. Because you wanted me to tell them myself. That's that basically what y'all wanted me to do. You told us that there was reasons for everything. No, I'm saying, but... And I'm not I'm trying to... Because y'all still... I'm not tripping with y'all. Because y'all being straight up. So I'm not... I'm not but I'm saying, come on, dude, if y'all knew this already, why y'all just didn't take me to, why y'all just didn't do what y'all had to do? Here's, here's where you're at right now. And it's like, you take me through the runway to, to get me to do something that y'all already. Can I speak? Here's where you're at. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you straight. Here's where you're at. One of two people did this. And I mean that from a human perspective. There's. God-fearing Christian who loves his kids and his mom that you say you are, and I want to believe you are, and in many ways you've presented yourself as, who went out, got in a fight with his girl, argument, whatever you want to call it, and went and, and just done screwed up. Or there's the malicious guy, the malicious guy who, who has lied to me about his love for God, who's lied to me about his love for his mother, who's lied to me about his love no, for don't his children. Don't spin it. Don't spin it, man. It's one of those two people, man. It's, I'm just saying, don't what spin is it. it then? Don't spin it, man, because I'm not. Which one are you? I'm not going to spin it, dude. Which guy are you? I'm the God-fearing guy that you've been talking to since last night, then man. Tell me the truth about and you know driving that. down and that you road. Then tell and you know that. Then tell me the truth about driving down that Tell road. me what I'm facing. I've just told you some of what you're facing. Some. Reckless endangerment. That's almost like saying I killed somebody. No, you want me to give you the entire case without you don't, giving you anything. You don't have anything, to. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's not I'm what not I'm asking. you. That. That's not what I'm asking. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Everyone I talk to you about perspective. I'm not. Everyone I talk to you about perspective. True, somewhere in the middle, all that. Yeah. That's how yeah. I see what you're, you're saying. Asking you got me doing all this and that, but y'all sit up here and come in here. We're not. I'm not blaming it on you guys. I'm not. But y'all sit up here and here. The police do this every single time even when you try to be look show me try, guy you, you try to, you try to be straight up with them you try to tell them the truth you try to do all this and that and they still railroad you you're not every tell me the single truth. time you're not trying to tell me the truth it, it, not it's anymore not, it's not even no it, it don't got nothing to do with that because i just told you i don't have a problem with telling you everything you want to know i just wanted to have an idea I, I just wanted to have an idea that's all I said last night. You know what I want to know. I and I, know and that's all happens. I said today. And you know what happens. Okay, so what am I being charged with? What are y'all going to charge me? What are y'all going to recommend? What are y'all going to do? Because at the end of the day, I'm still, I'm still, this is why I feel the way I feel. Oh. The video stopped at 3 hours, 5 minutes, 41 seconds. Sir, you had walked into this room or... Um, <laughs>
I believe you had presented a cell phone to Mr. Brooks. Do you recall that in the video? There's been an objection. Um, I'm going to sustain it and just ask you to lay a better foundation. Sure. So you came in and you had your cell phone with you, is that correct? Yes, it is. Did you receive any additional information when you and Detective Stern went out of the room um, prior to this clip? Objection. Brother, is Overruled the witness may answer. Yes, I did. What information did you receive? Objection leading. Overruled. Um, specifically the photographs that I brought into the room. Okay. And what was on your phone? Objection. Overruled. Rather than see, can you see what's on the phone from the video? Um, overruled the witness may answer. You can ask him on cross-examination if you have questions. So the video or the photo I showed on the phone, if you look at the monitor right now, um, I'm facing it, or is, if you face it up there, the right half. And is, you can, the, it's a touch screen. So oh. if you want to circle something or point to something, and you can use your finger. Your finger, not that yeah. tool. That Sorry. tool doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I kind of drew over it, but that half of the paper is a photograph that I was able to positively identify as Daryl Brooks, the defendant, behind the wheel of the Red Ford Escape while it was in the middle of the parade route. Um, that picture was the same one that was on the phone when I showed it to him. Okay. How do we know that? We will be able to cross-examine the witness. Um, that statement by Mr. Brooks is, I'm directing the jury to disregard as it's not proper testimony. Go ahead, next question. I apologize, Your Honor. Thank you, I appreciate that. What were the other, uh, what was on the other papers that you put down on the table? So the other papers, one of them was um, Mr. Brooks' vehicle shortly after it had entered the parade route. Um, that is where I specify to him he's driving past a child. There's a child uh, towards the passenger side of the vehicle. Um, Another one is the vehicle where it was located parked on Maple Avenue within the city. Um, I would also note that when you look at those photos carefully, the initial one as Mr. Brooks is entering the route and passing by this child, you can see the vehicle is undamaged, where the second one I showed him where it's parked is significantly damaged on the front end. Were those the photos, all the photos that you showed him at this time? At that point, yes, they were. Okay. <clears throat> now, he had said twice in this, I don't know if you recall, I will tell you what you want to know. Do you recall that being um, stated by Mr. Brooks? Objection leading. Um, overruled. You may answer. Yes, ma'am, I do. What did you want to know? I wanted to know why he drove through the route. I wanted to know what caused him to make that decision, what was going through his mind. Um, the evidence at that point, and this is evidence as I'm stating, it indicated his mother's vehicle drove through the route, that he was the individual driving through the parade route when the vehicle went through the route. And I was looking for explanations why intent, motive, whatever it might be for him to tell me and he's not he's not willing to do that. This video goes on for another hour and 50 minutes. Did he ever answer that question? Objection. Speculative. Overruled. The witness may answer. No, he did not. Direct your attention to video at 3 hours, 5 minutes, 57 seconds to 3 hours, 13 minutes and 58 seconds. It is now starting at 3 hours, 5 minutes, 57 seconds. Go ahead. It'll probably go before a judge, right? What do you want him to think? I mean, I don't, it's nothing not to have him think because y'all already basically said, okay, this is what happened. We just want you to tell us this, that this is what happened so we can just charge you with this, which we're going to charge you with. Are you the good guy that screwed up or the evil guy that doesn't care? Oh, I definitely care. 
I definitely care. Truth. I definitely care. Why would you tell me scared care. like that? Just because I don't want to tell you something. Now I don't care. Now I'm the malicious guy. Now I'm this. Now I'm that. Just because I don't want to talk. One other option. You know the truth. We've been talking for a couple. Y'all apparently know the truth too. Apparently. You when we came in, it was to get they your knew perspective this last on your side. Night. Come on, Kirk. You knew this last night, man. This was. You knew this you last night. Out. Yes, I told you. I told and you could have been out. like, yo. Some people got hurt. We want to know what happened then. I didn't know enough details last night. There were people out there all night. All night. Processing a scene. The entire night. Until about, I don't know, noon today. Oh, man. Y'all knew, about y'all, noon today. Knew, y'all knew all this, man. I didn't know everything. I'm telling you. You can believe me if you want, but I, I got no I, reason to lie. I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying you're lying. It was complete I'm, chaos. I'm not saying you're lying. So that's what took so long. I'm not. But you but know also, how it got to be that but way. So also, how it got see, to be I that can't way. even get a word in. Because we're going round and around okay, and around and around. We're we just going to keep going around and around here. And, and you're acting like you don't... I mean, it's acting like you don't know what these are. And, and you, you No, you're making it seem like I don't care. Like I'm just this heartless type of person, dude. Well, if I can that even, way. Okay, that's fine. But look at my position. I've been in here for 24 hours. I haven't even t- gotten a shower, good sleep. My shoulders fucked up. I haven't even got a phone call to even notify anybody, talk to my family whatsoever, not one time. I'm disappointed, Darrell. I'm disappointed, too, because you lied to me, Kurt. Because you lied to me. You talked about what Nothing, you him to do with listen, 20 years. Listen, and did not just what say, I don't years. have any problem telling you what happened the only thing i'm saying is i feel like you were trying to railroad me by how you went about it that's all i'm saying that's it i'm not saying okay we've I'm discussed not saying, that for about an hour so tell me what you, happened when you, you drove what I'm off saying? Uh, we're, we're not going to make any more progress on that i get i get you're pissed about that and i'm not going to fault you for it i'm not going to tell you not to be mad I'm not going to tell you not to feel like, man, that, that was bullshit, but Carp, why would you do that? If that's the way you feel, gotcha. It's okay. I'm not going to tell you you can't. I'm not going to sit here and tell you how you should or should not feel about how I went about presenting things last night. Okay? But what I've confronted you with and told you today is your mom's car is out here. I've now shown it to you. You know, you want me to, you know tell you all these things. No. Hold on. But what I told you from the start, and I did tell you this, is that part of it's a give and take. There's things I'll tell you, but I can't just tell you everything. We've shown you pictures, all right? We talked about if the roles were reversed, what you'd want my partner, Ben, to do. Yeah, you did say that. We talked about that. What would you want it to do if it was your kid with the broken leg? And look, so a kid I want got to hurt. A lot of people did. A lot of people got hurt. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. They're really were there. No, I'm saying a lot of people got hurt. Yeah, there's people hurt, man. Like that? Broken legs and stuff like I told you. Concussions hit their head. I wouldn't want to see that happen to nobody, dude. I don't believe you would either. Yeah, yeah but you and just... And I'm not saying it's on purpose. <laughs> you just thought... You just thought, yo, this dude is heartless. So tell us otherwise. You know I didn't I'm say saying? that. I'm it's asking like, you fuck, what man. do you like, want it to be perceived as. Tell us how it is, then. If we're wrong, and it's not heartless, tell us what, what it was. I'm here to listen if it's something different. I'm sitting here. I haven't walked out. Come on, heart. Come on. Y'all know. Y'all know. Listen, man. Y'all know. Y'all know. If I did not talk to that woman, I would never, ever be sitting right here talking to y'all right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not blaming her. Like I told you, I'm not going to demonize that woman. She's a good woman when she's not drinking. 
It's not about her anymore, Drew. I know. And I, I believe that she wouldn't be in this position if you hadn't talked to her. I, I believe mean, that. You didn't have to put the picture down. You didn't have to. The stroller. That's a stroller. Yeah. So a kid got hurt. Yeah. A kid. Yeah. Bad. You say a lot of people got hurt. Checked out. Yeah. A lot of people got hurt. To me, it's a pretty good injury if if a doctor's got to check you out or you got a broken leg. Yeah. So what do you call my shoulder? <laughs> I'm just making a joke, but yeah. I don't know. Well, I want to believe you're the man you say you are, girl, but I, I I'm not laughing because there's there's nothing funny about this. No, I was just saying. No, it's not. It's never been that. Dude, I don't take my life as a joke. I don't. I don't take my life as no joke. I was just making a joke about my shoulder when you just said, you know, if it's mm -hmm. a serious injury, if you got to get looked out. And I was just saying, I had to get looked out, but they didn't say it was serious. They treated it like, oh, let's say spend the night. You're the guy in cuffs, so. Well, you said that part, not me. No, I'm just saying that's how they, not how you acted, that's how they were acting. Oh, well, it's nothing broken. Well, why do I keep having this thriving, burning pain if nothing's wrong? Where were you going, Darrell? Help us understand something. I can do that. I just want to understand what's... So these parents I know wanna why their kid got hurt just the way you want to know why your kid got hurt. I want to understand what I'm looking at. That's it. Reckless endangerment. Yeah, that's something you're looking at, right? Just because some people got hurt. Yeah, people got hurt. Now, I just want to say this. You know that when you said it wasn't the end of the world type thing. Because nothing's the end of the world. It is. Why? Not when you have not when you have God in your life. It's not. It, it is because <laughs> that's what I believe anyway. I, I believe that too, but you don't want to have God in your life and you're sitting in prison. Can't see your family. Can't see nobody. What what does it matter then? And the clip stopped at three hours, thirteen minutes, fifty eight seconds. Sir, what went on in this clip? Overrule the witness may answer. Um, so in the clip, I was continuing to try to um, get Mr. Brooks to tell myself and Detective Stern what occurred, explain the reasons why, um, understand you know how and why it happened. Um, I was more direct with him at this point and you know, told them that recklessly endangering safety was certainly a possibility as a charge here. Um, I let them know that people got hurt, including broken legs and um, concussions, yet um, Mr. Brooks was still unwilling to explain to us, give us the clarity, give us the information we were asking for to understand, you know, why he did it. Um, Despite us talking about God, we, you know, I, I talk about Detective Stern and what, you know, if he had injured one of Mr. Brooks's children, that's something that comes up and what he would want a person to do if this was one of his own family members, I guess, to say if the rules were reversed. Um, but none of those things were anything that um, made him any more willing to speak to us. It continued to be... Um, really demands to uh, know what he was being charged with, even though at that point he's he's being told what he's very likely looking at. Um, but that kind of back and forth just continued to occur. At any time during the time you spent with Mr. Brooks on the 22nd or the 21st, <clears throat> did he ever ask how any of the injured people were doing? Objection. I don't consent to being called that name in this leading the witness. Overruled as to both the witness may answer. Um, no. I mean, for example, I, I gave examples of concussions. 
um, broken legs, but there was no follow up as to whether these concussions were going to cause people brain damage, um, whether the broken legs would impair fee people from walking again, or if there'd be amputations. It, he never addressed that. Finally, directing <coughs> your attention to the video at 3 hours 40 minutes to 3 hours 44 <coughs> minutes and 2 seconds. It's a I would like that last answer by the witness strike. How can anyone determine what will happen as a result of an injury? How can you even determine that? Um, your objection is noted. It's overruled. May I have that timestamp again for this clip? Sure. It's three hours, 40 minutes, zero seconds to, sorry, three hours, 44 minutes, two seconds. All right. Thank you. Go ahead. What are the charges? And we're incriminating stuff. I'm already like I'm about to lose my life, man. Can I ask a quick question? Hold on, watch it. I know. Why do you Just want me to watch it? Because I'll show you. I just want you to watch it. Watch it. Why though? Watch it for me. Why though? Because I want you to see what's in the video. Did you watch it? No. Will you? I just want to know why you want me to watch it. Because I want you to see what's on the video. Why don't you want to watch it? I just want to know why you want me to watch it. I didn't say I just want you to I see what I told I you. Problem. You're not accepting the answer. I told you I want you to see what's in it. That's why I want you to watch it. You wanted information from us for sure. I want yeah. you to watch it and see what's in it. Yeah, it's a good point. It's information sharing. Okay, so I want yeah, you to watch like it and see what's to, in it. It's like you, like, badgering me, like, a little but bit. But Darrell, you asked me a question. Okay. And this is more than what we had before. So I am showing you more. I'm asking you to watch it. Will you watch it? I mean, I don't have a problem with it. Okay, I just want to know what, what was the reasoning. Because I want you to see what's in it. I mean, I'm pretty much... It's not mad. complex. It's just, I, you know what I'm I saying? Know, it's just that. I, I want you to see I what happens. I understand. I'm just saying I, I already know. I already have an idea from what you guys were saying earlier. I want it's you to like, see it. It's like watching my, like, all I'm thinking about right now is Here, we'll talk in a what second. a hell of a journey it's been, but this right. is how my story ends. That's all I've been thinking about. Like, it's okay. nothing that I want to. You look down? Why do you want me to see that car? Why? Because I think it's important. Why is it important? Is it to make, like, what is it? Well, why don't you want to look? I just, I'm just asking, car. I'm not, I'm not trying to. I raise my voice at you, or I'm not. I'm just asking you why you don't want to look. I'm just saying, why do you want me to look? So you I think it's important. So you see what happened. You said you told you me what happened. You. you already told me what happened, girl. Y'all told me what happened. I understand my life is over. I'm trying to come to grips with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to come to grips with the fact that this is how my story ends. From trying to love somebody, I'll never see my kids again. My mom. My relationship is gone for me, and it's like, what is it? What is it to look at? And where my life is for me to look at my life in? That's you, Darrell. Is it? Is it looking at my life ending? These are the same photo. I'm just telling you that. Okay. I think it's important you see these. It is important for you to see him. For my life to end. Are we gonna, are we gonna, are we gonna keep going round and round about this or is there something you want to tell me? That is gonna help me at this point. Everybody can, everybody knows what was going on from that yard last night while I was getting investigated, while I was, you know what I'm saying? There's their children right there. See those kids, see that little kid right there?
look at it? Sir, and it did stop at three hours, 44 minutes, two seconds. What were you showing, Mr. Brooks? Station leading. Overruled, you may answer. I don't consent to that name <coughs> being used. At that record. point. Hold on. Were you done with the objection? Yeah, I was done. All right, it's noted and overruled. The witness may answer. Um, at that, <clears throat> excuse me. At that point, I was showing Mr. Brooks a um, video that had been provided to me um, of him operating the Red Fort Escape through the parade route. Um, at that specific point, uh, Mr. Brooks was struck members of the Waukesha South Marching Band, and um, I wanted him to see it. It was more information. He was asking for it. I felt it was important to see his reaction to it, uh, to see if he'd be willing to talk about it. And at the point where I paused it and brought the piece of paper that is, his head is now down on, um, I paused the video at a point where you could see that it was Mr. Brooks behind the wheel of the vehicle. And the point at which I paused was a still photo of that moment that was on the paper. So it was, I guess the same picture. Did you get any further with Mr. Brooks in the next hour that's contained in um, this interview? No, I did not. Objection of consent to being called that name. Overruled. The, the witness's answer may stand. On the 22nd, did you end up collecting DNA from Mr. Brooks? Yes, I did. How how was that obtained? Um, through buccal swab. So it's a they're basically um, Q-tips out of a sterile package. I used two of them: one to swab the inside of the right inside of his mouth, and the other the left inside of his mouth. So just direct your attention back to uh, this video one last time. Did the defendant ever watch that video? Leading. Overruled the witness may answer. No, ma'am, he did not. Nothing further. All right, we will pause for our lunch break now. It's 1243. I appreciate everyone's patience as we were able to at least complete the direct examination. When we come back from lunch, Mr. Brooks, you can start your cross-examination. Um, we'll take an hour and 15 minutes, so come back at 2 p.m., everyone. I'll rise for the jury, please. Thank you. We are in recess.